Good evening, sports fans. My pleasure to announce the inaugural event in the American Futsal League. As we get underway tonight, a pro uh, league that consists of four teams, the Portland City Futsal Club, the Phoenix Brazos, the uh, South Bay Originals, they're from Los Angeles, and the New Mexico Elite, and they're from Albuquerque. This is the opening event of the season. We're here in Portland. This is a match between PCFC, the Portland City Futsal Club, and the Phoenix Brazos. And they, Phoenix, by the way, is sponsored by Puma. Yes. And they flew up here yesterday, and they'll float right back tomorrow. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Hall. I'll be doing the play-by-play, -play, working with me, my broadcast partner, for the Futsal games in the past and tonight. And that is Walter Arivello, who is the uh, soccer coach at Portland Community College. The crew is here. We're ready to get this season underway. Each team will play each other to each other twice. Once at home, once away. And then at the end of the season, we'll have a, uh, a uh, championship game. If this game ends in a tie, it will be a tie. We're introducing the starting players now for the Phoenix Brazos. Number one, Jared Wilson. He's the goalie, I believe. Jared Bauer, number two. Number three is Colin Gonzalez. Number seven is Wa Alvarez. Number nine, Poway Martin. He's also the team captain. Number 10, Mitch Garcia. Junior Ferreira, number 12. Number 14, Ethan DeRubius. And number 17, Jake Rush. The uh, coach. And three, I think three or four of the players are from Brazil. So. Yes, a few of those players are from Brazil. They did good in everybody. And, uh, and like you say, you know, the Brazos team is sponsored by Puma. And that's really good for the development of this game here in the United States. Phoenix will be in the yellow. Here's the introducing the players for Portland City Futsal Club. Number, number zero, the backup goalie, Juicio Ambrosi. Number two, Cody Granica. Number three, Wandi Ali. Number four, Giovanni Vasquez. Number five, Reese Cole. Number six, Lucas Hale. Number nine, Alan Croft. Number 10, Kenny Schlebach. Number 12 is Max Corrido. He's the goalie. Number 13, Gabe Parrish. Number 15, Gene Grails. And number 16, Aaron Chin. By the way, three of the players on the PCFC club played their high school soccer at Central Catholic. Reese Cole, Lucas Hale, and Gabe Parrish. We're going to have our national anthem, and after that, we'll be ready to get this underway. All right, PCFC to our left in the black jerseys. Phoenix to our right in the yellow. This game will be two 20-minute halves with a 10-minute uh, uh, halftime. We'll stay on the air during that period of time, and Walter and I will talk a little bit about the game. By the way, at the end of the game, we'll pick a player of the game, so we'll do that. Our referees tonight are Victor Castro and Mohamed Alabas. I'm Dave Hall. I'm a play-by-play -play announcer, Walter Arivela, with me. This is a production of Oregon Sports Beat. Our crew with us tonight. We'll introduce them when we finish the game tonight. 
Thanks for joining us in the premier event of the American Futsal League. By the way, we are at Oregon Premier Futsal in Clackamas, a beautiful facility. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful facility. In goal for Portland, Portland has two goalies. Tonight they're going to start Max Gorlo. I was thinking today, Walter, and I was thinking about goalies. And to me, the most difficult job for a goalie is being a hockey goalie <laughs> because you face those shots at 100 miles an hour and stuff. But when I think about it, maybe being a futsal goalie is maybe the second S toughest the sec goal. Yeah, it's very more, similar, more than you know, soccer, uh, more than lacrosse. In, in Brazil, we come in, you, you, you become a goalie for futsal. You must be crazy. You know, yeah, you must be. Because a lot of the goalies, they have a missing tooth, <laughs> broken nose, fingers, and then they put a lot of, more than the field players, themselves to save the goal. They can be the heroes of the night, you know. By the, the way, the goalie tonight for... Um, you see where that? I got it, I got it. Oh, the goalie tonight for PCFC, Max Goriel, is from France. Yes, we, we he's a very familiar with us. He is in the Futsal Scramble, you know, games. And uh, he has a nice uh, way how he got here. You know, you talked not, to him last last week. Eh? Well, not only was he in the Scramble, he was the MVP of the Scramble. And this Vamble, yes. <laughs> Wait for that, yes. All right. Yes. Again, so they're talking over some of the rules. The subs will will accumulate here in front of us, but the referee will have to call them in. There's not free and open substitution. Also, this game could end in a tie because it's part of the league playoffs. Yeah, but for the viewers, you know, uh, we can explain this is a different rules from FIFA regular futsal. And this is an international futsal federation, I believe so. You know, and then as a... Uh, D different type of rules, the uh, ball, uh, the time is stopped, each time the ball goes out or it's a free kick, the, the, will stop the, the referee will stop the time. Exactly. We have uh, Oregon Sports Beat produces their own sports event and then we cover high school sports. We'll talk about that at halftime, but uh, in the past we have altered the rules and the scrambles a bit, but we'll be playing the international rules here in this. The inaugural event in the American Football League American Futsal League, again, the teams are Portland City Futsal, Phoenix Brazos, the South Bay Originals, they are from Los Angeles, and the New Mexico Elite, and they are from Albuquerque. Are we, we're in the way. We go, Dave. We're in the way, and that goes out, it'll stop the clock. We actually have a timekeeper, and Here we go, the throw in for Phoenix. And that ball goes out on the other side. I want to thank um, uh, Holly Martins. She is one of the uh, members of the staff of the Phoenix team, and she helped us a lot with information about the players. For Phoenix, there's a shot and a save. Phoenix with the ball. In case you're not familiar with futsal, and I think most of the Ooh. people, most of the people are, there's a shot across the goal mouth. Very close, very close. I like to call indoor futsal. I like to call that <laughs> soccer on a basketball court. A throw in, nice save by Max Gorello. A hard shot on the outside. That was number 12 on the shot, Junior Ferreira. And that ball goes out. Five players on a side, two forwards, two defensemen, and a goalie. There's a oh, shot and a goal. A goal. Phoenix with a goal. Number, that goal was number seven. number seven. And that is Joao Alvarez. Joao Alvarez is a Brazilian born in Sao Paulo. He's, this is his first year in Brazos and has been a staff raider uh, since last season, you know? Good, good attacking player. That goal coming 18-40 left in the first half. Joao Alvarez and Phoenix leads one to nothing. PCFC with the ball. Futsal kind of got started in Brazil, one of the places that got started and, and Phoenix has a number of players from Brazil on their team. 
Yeah, very very popular game. You know, the, actually, the game started in Paraguay in a futsal court because uh, every they didn't have uh, fields to play, and then they they figured it out to call football sala in Spanish. You know, in Brazil, football is allowed in a futsal, very well organized, and um, Brazilian six-time world champions. I'm Dave Hall. I'm working along with Walter Arevalo, soccer coach at Porto Community College. Walter, though, is from Peru. Yes, sir. <laughs> and so he's very familiar with this. Phoenix, long ball down, and that goes out. Again, our two referees, Mohamed Alabas and Victor Castro, very capable referees. Inside, a shot off the side, and another shot. Not, very close, Mason, very, really close. Portland is good, trying to come back, you know, putting a little bit of pressure. Cody Granico with a couple of shots there, but both of them were wide to the left. You have to transition very quickly in this Decision game. Decision making is important in futsal. And a lot of the famous players now playing football or soccer, they started in futsal because of the decision making has to be faster, fast. Oop, Hard uh, shot, high great shot. save. That's Jared Wilson in goal. And he's, uh, he's from Alaska, by the way. Not only is... Uh, not only is transition important, spacing is really important in this game. And the players need to be moving all the time. They cannot be standing in, in, in soccer. We do have a space, we have a time. Here is so quick, they need to be moving. They need to be communicating really, really fast. Substitutes will check in right in front of us, so we'll be able to tell you who comes in. They just stop a player in the game because one of the players don't have a shin guard. He must have a shin guard. Ah. Yeah. And I believe that is a, that's Gabe Maro Parrish. The rules. Yeah. It's a couple players from Portland that they need uh, shin guards. Wandi Ali and Gabe Parrish both didn't have shin guards on. The referee stopped the action. They're going to have yeah, to put them on. We need to make sure, you know, for this kind of level of playing, that everybody needs to be ready and right this is a this is a an independent professional league mm -hmm. so the rules are going to be enforced very strictly nice ball movement taken away by phoenix so kenny schlebach with a couple of good moves there One to nothing, our score. Phoenix leads, 15-35 left to go in the first half. The first goal coming at 18-40. Oh, and another goal, and that's also, that's a second goal for Alvarez. Out, yes. That coming at 15-20. So, Joy Alvarez has two goals for Phoenix, and they lead two to nothing. Snuck that goal in the left side. Both of those goals coming from the same, yes, same spot. Same spot. The, the Portland needs to be working to cover him. He's a really quick player. They need to be uh, tactically covering him and then recuperating the ball quickly before it gets to the Portland field. Alvarez with another and, shot. And again, wide. the same angle. Portland needs to be working in this angle in the, in the uh, left side of the goalie. All the attacks are coming in the same direction. Exactly. Alvarez down the left side, and he has two goals and just missed that. Number seven for, I'm sorry, that's number 15. That's uh, Gene Grails. Stop the clock, he was down.
Walter and I are sitting here right at, just off the court. <laughs> the ball is coming, Dave is ready to go in. <laughs> right. Oh, that goes out. Alvarez goes down right in front of us. He's gonna go under the camera stand and get the ball. If you notice, all the players are wearing masks. Yeah, important at this time, you know all the protocols that we need to be following. Nice shot, nice shot for number nine. Kawil Martins, this is the captain for, Bra for Brazos. He also is from Brazil, from Sao Paulo. He was in the Brazilian national team for the Copa America. Not only is, the, is he the captain for the Phoenix team. He's been the captain the last five years. <laughs> Walter, I've gotten my two shots. I got my vaccination. I urge everybody else. Yeah, excellent. I'm waiting in line for my, you know, and I you're, just all, yes, all the college, teacher. yeah, all the college teachers, they need to be working something. I, I know the elementary and high school teachers got it and then we, we want all the college teachers to get to. Our audio engineer tonight, Steve Roberts, is an elementary teacher. He's gotten his first he shot. First shot. Excellent. <laughs> this match tonight is a production of Oregon Sports Beat. At halftime, I'm going to give you our schedule for March. I think we've got, right now, we're looking at 12 events we have lined up. Oh. Down the right side this time, Gorilla slides and protects that ball. Here they are on the outside, hard kick. Nice shot. That was Mitch Garcia's with a shot. PCFC is not getting the opportunities that Phoenix is getting. The Phoenix, uh, you know, the experience that they have, a lot of, a lot of those players probably actually in Europe, like in Mitch Garcia's number 10, he played in Europe. You know, for several teams, also plays in the USL in Arizona. He was a captain for the pro team in the Brazilian league. Juan Di Ali, a, a header on the throw-in, just just above the net. That is uh, Jared Wilson in goal for Phoenix. Hard shot from the outside, that's Gabe Parrish. Wandi Ali on the coverage that time. Max Gorlo. See the pressure is very immediately from Brazos. Okay, there. Kawe Martin's number nine for Phoenix. He's got the distinction. He played for the Brazilian national team and then became an American citizen and has played for the American national team. <laughs> We're at Oregon Premier Futsal. This is the American Futsal League. Phoenix's defense is very smothering. <laughs> Notice, Walter, how they drop back so quickly. Yeah, it's really the, you know, it's some of the tactical is no pass to the keeper and uh, the throwing is as different here. I have a you whistle. Very good. And each time they blow the whistle, they stop, you know? That ball goes out. 
Walter with a nice guys. save. Nice save there. <laughs> And that shot goes out. We're, we've passed the halfway mark here in the first half. 9.20 left to go first half. Two to nothing Phoenix. American Futsal League action. First game of the league. That was a header that went over the top. That header was by Giovanni Vasquez. The transition back from defending attack is really fast. Portland needs to go back. Portland is just spending a lot of energy. And we can see Brazos has a little bit more, uh, look like they have a more time in training. Almost all there with a heading. Header just wide to the right. That was by Cowboy Martin. Hard shot, oh, Max Gorilla with a nice save. Really hard shot. Schlebeck sends it down forward. There's a shot, goes across the goal mouth. I think Jared Wilson just got a finger on it there to tip it. Slaybeck sends it forward and it goes out. Phoenix, 7.47 left to go here in the first half. Phoenix with the lead, two to nothing. They need to have a good conditioning, good, you know, to, to play this game. And uh, the subs is on the fly, you know, the plane immediately goes in and uh, how tactically they will manage each team. This is why we can see more compactness in Brazos. League rules allow players to have 12, or teams have 12 players. PCFC has 12 here tonight. Phoenix has nine. They send the ball, Phoenix sends the ball forward to a man in the middle, and then two players come down yeah, the wing. They overlap, you know, they, as soon as they send the ball, they overlap the player, and you see the tactical, the, the cuadrado, you know, they will call in Portuguese, or the a little rondo, where the players are moving. Uh, and we can see, you know, Portland Putzal has these four players, now we're attacking, 2v2, and then oh, almost, very good. Just wide, a hard shot by Gabe Parrish. Portland has to build up some more confidence and then they could um, try to score the goal and then the game will be much interesting. It's, it's really nice how... Ooh. Max Gorlo chips it out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Cowboy Martins and Gabe Parrish kind of pushing on each other a little bit. They were jostling last yeah, time down. Hard shot, blocked in front, two on one, a shot, oh, just wide left. Portland's best scoring opportunity so far in the shot by Alan Croft, just wide left. That was the first real scoring opportunity I think PCFC has had. Oh, and Max comes out, falls on the ball. Ooh, just barely missing the ball. PCFC is going to alternate goalies during the season. Next game, the start will go to Duccio Ambrosi, and he was actually the goalie. Nice save by May, nice save by the fallen, fallen goalie. Duccio Ambrosi was actually mm -hmm. the goalie for Italy. Italy, nice. Max, great save in front on a header by Martins. And PCFC starting to put together a couple of offensive rushes. 4.45 left to go first half. 
Mohamed Alabas, the referee, signals PCFC ball, I think. Nope, Phoenix ball. Quickly in. They tried to get it in that time to perish for a shot, but well defended. Cody Granico. Perish in front. Ball loose. And a nice save by Jared Wilson. Still two to nothing, Phoenix leads. First game action in the American Futsal League. Oh, a hard shot that time. That was by Aaron Chin, wide right. Parrish taken away. 3.45 left to go, first half. Wandy, Wandy Ali with the ball. A shot, almost got a screen in front of the goalie that time. I wonder if that's what Chin was trying to do, was screen the goalie. Walter, it does seem like PCFC is getting more opportunity and they're getting down in the offensive yeah, they, end. They're solving constantly, you know, to give a break to the players and until the dice play over. Oh, uh, almost a first goal for... Hard foul here. Be a free kick there for PCFC. Parrish with the ball. Under pressure, taken away. And Parrish goes down, it'll be a foul. <laughs> Phoenix with the ball. 2.30 left to go here in the first half. Action has gone quickly. PCFC needs a goal. Hard shot. Oh, Wilson with a nice great save. save. Nice save. We have a cut. Oh, wow. That was a hard shot by Mitch Garcia. Max Goyla with a save. Directed that ball up over his head. Two minutes to go. Time to stop because of corner. Here we go. Knocked away and out of bounds. Victor Castro signals. Throw in for PCFC in the middle. And that goes out. Gorilla throws it in. 130 left to go here, first half. Only score has been two goals for Phoenix, both by Alvarez on a pretty much the exact same play. And these Portland fixed it, fixed it that angle, and now they try, they are no able to attack on the same size. And then Portland is defending better because of the subs that they're doing. And subbing players constantly to to make sure that everybody's resting and uh, have the energy to come to manage this first half. 50 seconds left to go here, first half. <laughs> Halftime, we'll talk about the game a little bit, Walter and I will, and then I'll give you o Oregon Sports Beat schedule for March. <laughs> 25 seconds left to go. Juan Dielli after the ball, there it goes out of bounds. Throw in coming up for Phoenix. Five seconds. Phoenix pretty much gonna let the time run out. Throws it back to the goalie. And there's the 
There's the horn. That's the end of the first half. Our score at the end of one. It's Phoenix Brazos two. PCF team nothing. Two goals are in the first half. The first one at 18.40 remaining. The second at 15.20. Both of those goals by Joa Alvarez. Both of them are plays where he came down the left wing, fired a hard shot, and uh, put it in the net. Walter, let's talk a little bit about the first half. Your thoughts about the keys to the first half. Well, you know, the process for impacting the game in the game, the, the, the two goals were in the same, in the same, same, on the same exact play, you know, the goals under the ground, and uh, they were surprised them the, the first 15 minutes they did attack, they took pressure from the and later in Portland, you know, start subbing some players, making the players do it, and then counter attack. And they stop an angle, the, the, the attacking from Brazas. You know, uh, this game is really fun, and the second half is going to be very nice to control. You just pointed out that the PCFT started maybe substituting a little quicker yes. and got more offensive opportunities. I noticed that too, that they were substituting very quickly. Players were going in giving a good brush for a, a time and then coming right out. And, and then, yes, and then that Portland is kind of creating more opportunities. You know, uh, they miss a few balls and the shots on the, on the, on the right angle and the ground too. The goalie from Brazil saved a couple of they really close to the ball. But yeah, they, they, the coaches, they need to be tactically preparing, you know, all the players, they can control and play the game. How the game is going, how we're going to be switching moving. Uh, you came with a tactical system, but the tactical has to also be changed, be flexible depending on how much thing you do. You know, you've talked about the goalies, and Jared Wilson has been uh, really, really good in goal for Phoenix. This game could have four or five goals for Phoenix. Max Gorilla will play really, really good for PCFC. The fact that they're down 2 to nothing is, uh, is uh, probably due to his play. I mean, not, it could have been a lot worse had he not made some great saves. Yes, he did, you know, and you know, uh, we're talking about the goalie from, from Brazas. Wilson. Wilson. Let's, let's talk about Wilson. Jared Wilson. Jared Wilson. Jared Wilson. Number one. Jared Wilson, yeah, he's been uh, two seasons with uh, Paul and Brazas. He presented a new contract. Incredible, he's the usual type of his contract at home and great, you know, good, good for the opportunities for these uh, players to fly, be able to fly, not to try, I'm going all the flights, yeah, and then uh, to play. And they did them yesterday, and last yesterday, and they raised and they play now, they're going to need tomorrow. You know, the uh, 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 process started originally in, in Alaska, and they found the, the south in Arizona. The weather is better than the <laughs> Yes, I think so. Uh, if you're not familiar, we are Oregon sports teams. We've been doing high school sports for the last all oh, six or seven years. We cover all kinds of sports. Uh, you can find us at OregonSportsBeat.com. And if you go there, you'll find our schedule posted as we cover everything. Uh, it's been a tough season for sports in Oregon with all the cancellations and everything. But we're going to start playing sports next week. And when we use, not this coming week, but the week after that, I want to give you our schedule at Oregon Sports League, what we're going to cover. And so here it is. The week of uh, March, the, we'll start the season March the 2nd. We'll cover the boys' soccer game between Corvallis and Central. And then next Friday, March the 5th, we'll cover the, the uh, Central Catholic High School and Jesuit football game at 7 o'clock. Some of the things that we have coming up on uh, Monday, March the 8th, we'll cover Central Catholic and Reynolds in volleyball as we start covering a lot of volleyball. The week of the uh, 15th of March, we actually have five events. Monday night, Central Catholic and Barlow in volleyball. Tuesday night, Corvallis in South Albany in boys soccer. Thursday night, Central Catholic and Clackamas in volleyball. Friday night, Clack, uh, Central Catholic and Silverton in football. And then on the 20th, we're going to do another La Scramble. We'll do the second La Scramble. On the 27th, we'll do another Rain and Freeze basketball three-point shootout. And then on the 30th, we'll do Central Catholic and uh, Sandy and volleyball. 27 La Scramble, yeah? Right. Rain, yeah, yeah. Go to Oregon. Ho hopefully, hopefully the weather gets well because we find excellent players there. In Ready to start here. Go to OregonSportsBeat.com. You'll get all that information right now. 
It's American Football Futsal League action. Two to nothing, Phoenix leads. Justin will win the second half. Oh, there's a hard shot. Ricocheted off a of PCFC player. It almost went in the net. Hard shot, Gorla with a great save. Alvarez almost with a hat trick there. Remember, 20 minute halves, we've got, we're just underway in the second half. These games can end at the tie, we have a player down in front of the net. Clock stops. He just a uh, little bit of a high kick with the knee he hit in the stomach. You know, and he's down, uh, he's been up, and then the game He's up, continue. looks to be okay. I believe that player was Alan Croft. To be, um, Brazas is start pressuring all the way from the back. Oop, uh, too fancy, too fancy. And sometimes the fancy things don't work. <laughs> that player was down, that was Alan Croft. He's okay though now. Goes out. See, we see the two players from Brazas playing 1v1, playing with the, and then that originates, you know, for Portland to lose the ball. Mm -hmm. I'm Dave Hall, along with Walter Arivello, the soccer coach at Cla uh, Portland Community College. Referee could give them an uh, advantage, you know, in the, the game. Victor Castro, the referee over on the far side. Mohamed Alabas here, the referee on this side. We have three cameras set up here on the futsal court. So we're giving you coverage of everything that goes on. Especially for tall and clear, you know, as soon as you play the ball up on the air, you are ready to lose the ball. You know, this game is basically small, precise passing and movement, you know, making a very good decision. This is why it's more, oh, create more opportunities playing on the ground. PCFC managed to clear that ball away in front of the net that time. They'll send it back to Wilson. Hard shot, just wide to the top of the net. And you give it too too long. Too, too, too long. Ball, to yeah, too long. The initial, Max yeah. Gorillo looking for yeah. somebody to pass it to and held the ball too long. We have free kick coming up here for Phoenix. Oh. Nice save, nice save by Hidalgo. Ball came loose, a hard shot, and Max was quick to react to that. Tip it to his left. Oh, another great save. Oh, no. <laughs> Three great saves in a row for Max Gorlo. When we did our scramble tournament here a couple of weeks ago, Max was the MVP of the tournament. In fact, he had the only two shutouts of that tournament. Giovanni Vasquez checks in for PCFC. Aaron Chin checks in too. I think that ball hit. Hit the ceiling, hit the hit, roof, yeah. yeah. Hit the ceiling. And each time they hit the ball, has to go out as a throwing. Yeah. 
This is a great facility, Walter, and they have the nets up everywhere and the screens and the posts are all padded. Great floor, too. Yeah, this, uh, a few years back, I came here with the uh, Portland Timbers to do a seminar for futsal, and it wasn't this way. Now it's beautiful, now it's really clean, really nice, yeah. and the, uh, this organization has, uh, they start teaching kids, you know, and um, uh, they have a very really good program about development futsal. Lots of kids' activities, and futsal courts are really starting to spring up everywhere in Portland. Yeah, um, you know, it is indoors, safe, quick decision. We want, we want, you know, we coaches in soccer, we want the players to start playing at early age futsal. That way when they get to us in the soccer field, they make a better decisions, you know? <laughs> you know, a soccer game is 90 minutes, a futsal game is 40 minutes. Yeah. Very good, Dave. The good save, Dave. Good save. <laughs> All right, I got a save. Walter and I each have one. <laughs> up, up. Going to bring that back. Junior Ferrero standing right in front of us, throws it in. Back to Jared Wilson, the goalie. A little miscommunication between the refs. One was thinking it was hit the ceiling, the other one hit the, uh, went outside, and they, they, they now uh, agree in throwing for uh, Brazas. Sixteen forty-five left to go in the game. Two to nothing, Phoenix leads on those two goals by Joao Alvarez. The intensity uh, uh, changed a little bit now, a little bit slower, not, not like the first place. You know, I, we understand, you know, the energy that they, they spent in the first half was tremendous, but Poland has more attacking, has more chances now. Exactly. And they're substituting quite frequently. Remember, though, Poland has 12 players suited up tonight. Phoenix has nine. Portland can, in effect, make about three line changes for every two that Phoenix makes. You know, I can hear the Brazilian uh, players communicating them in Portuguese, and there's a big <laughs> advantage, you know, that some of the players don't understand. Right. You know, the, the Portland players. It's a big impact, you know, in the elite game, you know, when the coaches right now, it's really important to know more than one language, you know, for uh, licensing combi ball as a pro or UEFA pro, it's important to know a few languages. You know, I hadn't thought about that, but that really makes sense. Right now, I'm leaning towards Joao Alvarez as our player of the game, and of course, he is from Brazil. Walter speaks Portuguese. We may have to do, Walter will do the interview. <laughs> we will do the interview. He, he is a very fluent in, in English too. You know, he's been living in Arizona a few years. But we will talk to him in, when he was growing up on, in Brazil. You know, uh, exactly. South. And we will interview also the coaches from Brazil. You see, the, the goalie had the ball, and no problem player came immediately there. They need to be, they were waiting. So these are some of the players that still with the mentality with soccer. And futsal needs to be, yeah. Don't do it today, do yesterday. Exactly. <laughs> 15.30 left to go here. Two to nothing, Phoenix leads. American Futsal League action. First game ever of this season. And then we have another game after this, yeah? We're going to have an exhibition game after this. Most of the same players, but also some other players who are going to... A high kick. Alvarez got kicked in the chest. Yeah. 
substitution checks in for Portland. That's uh, yeah. Gene Grills. And again, you know, recall that Portland, when they start changing, they're attacking more and they're defending better, giving some air to the, to the players. Uh, when we get started on that exhibition game, Walter, we'll be able to talk a little bit more about strategy and that because we, we won't be playing a league game. And a player goes down. That's Grills who went down. Mohamed Alabas, referee signals stop the clock. Wandi Ali is uh, expressing his opinion to the referee. Mohamed Alabas and Victor Castro conferring on that. Let's see, are we calling? A little interpretation of the rules, you know, between the power referees. It Both results in a free kick for yeah. Phoenix. Doing a little, doing a little fair play there, you know, giving the ball back to Portland. We've had no scoring in the last 20 minutes. On the alley with a hard kick. Wide right, though. Jared Wilson sends it off on the side. In very front. nice goal. Very nice goal. Very tactical goal. You know, a give and go and a goal. In the movement. A good triangulation. Maybe, you know, it's a nice draw triangle. And then they know each other where they're going to be. Nice, nice goal. Junior Ferreira with the goal for Phoenix, and that goal coming at 1440 yeah. in the game. Junior Ferreira was uh, born in Brazil, also from Rondonia, Brazil. You know, and he's been in Brazil a few years. And that was clearly a set up play. A couple of passes right in front, Ferreira puts it in. There's a shot wide to the left. Max Gorillo comes out. Three to nothing, Phoenix leads. 1420 left to go in the game. In front, Alvarez, hard shot, block. Oh, and another a, goal there. a rebound came out right in front. So Alvarez with the shot, Max with the block, and the goal then for Martins. Two goals, 10 seconds apart. Four to nothing, two goals by Alvarez in the first half, a goal by Ferreira, and then another goal by uh, Martins. Yeah, that was uh, more a mental outness. Oh, they were, as soon as they received the goal, mentally they were down, and then they took opportunity, advantage, and then immediately went the other one. Right, Alvarez actually took a shot. Max Gorlo, it rebounded off of him, and Martins put it right in. Hard shot. Max goes down and makes a save. 13.45 left. You can score a lot of goals quickly in futsal. Four to nothing is not an insurmountable lead, but PCFC is gonna have to start uh, getting some offense going. There they come quickly ahead. There you go. And there it is. And The goal, we've had three goals in the stretch of a minute. That goal coming at 13.30. You were, you, were, you were making a comment that in futsal, four goal is no extremely big difference. But yes, we've you see three in, in a minute. Than a minute, three in a minute. <laughs> that goal was by number 15, Gene Grails. Oh, a hard shot right in front and a miss just wide to the right. That was Alvarez on that shot. Alvarez has got off two great shots here in the last minute. And three goals in the last minute. Oh. 
Oh. You know, we had two goals in uh, the first five minutes of the first half, then 20 minutes without a goal. Now we've had a total of three goals in one minute. Ooh, we got a we yellow, yellow, card. yellow card. Yellow card for goalie from Brazil. Right. Yeah, from Brazos, from Brazos. A ye yellow card on Jared Wilson, the goalie. Free kick coming up. Croft is gonna take it. Oh, a hard shot blocked by Alvarez. Cody Gronico sends it forward. Four to one, Phoenix leads. 12.30 left to go in the game. The pace is picked up. Walter, it seems that we're seeing more open shots. Yes, uh, uh, Brazas is still pacing, and the before line is agilizing. Is uh, I believe the Brazas is taking the opportunity that the the, the, the Portland is opening is no oh nice shot. Portland is no because they are attacking the living in the back a little bit open, and then the Brazos is taking opportunity. Just Brazos is playing a counter attack. The two goals that we see that was a counter attack. Mitch Garcia that time, ball came in. He was out in front, he tried to chip it over the top of the goalie and just missed that. Yeah. Mohamed Alaba standing right in front of us. He's really strong, really. He's really telling people. He's controlling very, very well the game. The game has gotten more physical too over the last couple of minutes. Because of the tiredness, you know, mentally are they getting now more physical than technical, and there's a preparation, you know, from both sides. And uh, Mohamed Alabas saying, I'm gonna stop that right now. <laughs> he was yelling too, wasn't he? Yes, he was commanding. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Very effective referee, and he's doing a good job controlling this action. It really started with that yellow card to the goalie. Five fouls he was signaling. Yeah. Five fouls on Rivers needs to be in the same page. And then, then oh, bar, nice glow, nice shot. Alan Croft with a hard shot from midcourt. They tried to get the ball back to Alvarez that time, but couldn't. And clearly, Phoenix was setting up a play that time. Alvarez will get the ball in. Oh, oh. nice shot, nice. Hard Just shot. Me, in front, oh. Oh. Nice play, they tried to set up Parrish that time. You're right, that is getting very physical. <laughs> Defending, you know, he's getting very physical. <laughs> nice save, nice save for Poland. 10.42 left to go here in the game. Four to one, Phoenix leads. Phoenix has a play where they have a player stand. He's in backcourt, sends the ball forward to a player, and then he runs right in the middle in yeah, front of the right goalie. In. A nice uh, tactical overall. You see the two players, they stay on top always. And, oh! Wow. Double, and it's two shots that, that was a saving Poland. 
Max Gorlo slid across. I don't think he touched the ball. I think the shot was wide right, but <laughs> boy, it was a hard shot and it was close. Wilson goes up. Remember, Wilson has a yellow card in this game. Oh, they're saying no goal, but I think it's a goal. Uh, that was, I did like. Yeah, who'd you give the goal to? Who was the goal? Was that Gabe Parrish? It's a goal. I believe it was Parrish, number 13, yeah. right? We're going to ask. Uh, Who was the goal by? Yep. Okay. Official score says Gabe Parrish, and that's what I thought. By the way, it was four to nothing. We. PCFC's cut the four two, yeah. Cut it in and, half. And, and again, we'll see. And a four is not bigger than this four foot tall, but we have a nine minutes and 50, 50 seconds to go. And I'm and as um, Brazas, only nine players. The subs are critically making uh, work for Portland. Phoenix was arguing that goal was not to be allowed, but. The two referees conferred and allowed that goal. Play right in front of us. Hard shot. Oh, oh. Okay. really close, really close. Wilson blocked the goal, blocked it right back to Giovanni Vasquez, who made a shot, but just hit the right side of the net. Four to two, our score, 920 left to go in the game. Phoenix led four to nothing, it's now four to two. We had two goals in the first half. We've had four in the second four half. In the second. <laughs> yeah, tiredness from Brasas too, you know. Oh, see, that, that, that in futsal shows the, that the, the mental size, you know, they're getting tired physically and mentally too. And the miss passing is going to be dangerous in futsal. Phoenix Brazos, they are sponsored by, by Puma. American Futsal League action. Remember the four teams, Portland, Phoenix, Los Angeles, and New Mexico. And this is the opening match. Play in front, Wilson with a couple of nice saves. Whistle before that ball went in on goal. Lots of yelling going on. conference between four referees, you know. Uh, I'm not sure what the call was. Mohamed Alabas and Victor Castro conferring. All right. Eight twenty-seven on the clock, four to two Phoenix leads. American Futsal League action. This is the inaugural game. We're at Oregon Premier we got Futsal. Six fouls, you know, after the foul number six, that will be a free kick. Penalty, yeah. Yeah, penalty kick. Here we go, that's what it's going to be. Penalty kick. Juan Ali to take it wide to the right. Six fouls, and you get a penalty kick. 
Ali takes that, misses wide to the right. Yeah, Brasas, as you notice, Dave, you know, we see they get a little bit tired. Exactly. You know, don't put the ball in there in futsal. Very really good. Wide to the left. Game getting very physical now. Yeah. Also, Portland is desperate. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. You know, that, that pushed them. They, 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 both teams are actually are physical. They're not sobbing. You know, you ha they have to compose you. They have to manage their, their, their game. They have to. Ali with the ball. PCFC throws it in. A little bit of an argument going on there between Wandi Ali and Mitch Garcia. In fact, they're jostling each other right now. Ali takes the ball away, taking right back away. Tried to set up a play, had a cutter going across the goal mount that time. Couldn't get it to him. PCFC with the ball. 7-10 left to go here. Max Gore though, sends it forward. Oh, a nice goal. Hard shot and a goal. Number three. A goal by number three, and that's uh, Kalen Gonzalez. Five to three. That coming at 6.50. They call me a timeout. Timeout on the court. Our score is Phoenix five. Portland two. Portland, a PCFC two. The time left on the clock is uh, 6.53. We've had goals this half. Junior Ferreira at 14.40 for Phoenix. Howie Martinez at 14.12 for Phoenix. Gene Grail for PCFC at 13.30. Gabe Parrish of PCFC at 10.02, and the goal just now by Kalen Gonzalez for Phoenix at 6.50. So we've had, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four goal scorers for Phoenix. Alvarez with a pair, Ferreira with, a, with one, Martins with one, and Gonzalez with one. The two goals for PCFC, one by Grails and one by Parrish. Let's see what they're offering now after the time break. So the timeout, BCFC will have the kick now after the goal. Lucas Hale in the game for BCFC. Five to two, our score, ball goes out.
throw in coming up for Phoenix. They'll throw it back to the goalie, Jared Wilson. Oh, a hard nice shot, shot on the wing that time. Parrish. Just wide to the right. Another hard shot that Couple time. Couple saves, good save by Dave. <laughs> that last shot by uh, PCFC, that was uh, Lucas Hale with on the shot. Portland has three players. PCFC has three players from Central Catholic High School. They're all on the floor together right now. Reese Cole, Lucas Hale, and Gabe Parrish. Jared Wilson sends it forward. Always a player, the pivot, we call the pivot of futsal. Uh, we see, you know, the Portland defender in number nine. That's the pivot for uh, almost. Hard shot just See, the pivot right. received the ball in his saddle because he's big, heavy, and the technical mm -hmm. protects look like a courting and impossible. That player for Phoenix who's big, that's... Uh, Conway Martins, big player with the ball right now. I believe it's a, is that right? It's a foul on Phoenix, gonna be another uh, Free kick coming up for PCF. Nope, nope. Well, maybe. Is it another one? Is uh, will be fall number seven, and then right. adjust to. Right, it's going to be a free kick. Let's see who's going to take it. That's foul number seven. And after that, after the number five, you know, number six will be penalty seven, and then if they continue, will be. Giovanni Vasquez. Oh, Ooh. he hits the crossbar. Nice goal. Phoenix goal from the side. And I believe, let me see, I think it is number 10. It is number 10, Mitch number Garcia. 10, yes. Six, six to two the score now. <clears throat> oh, a collision. Throwing coming up. Out of bounds, throwing coming up for Phoenix. Six to two, four minutes and seven seconds left to go in the game. Illegal throwing. Yes, the desperation. So, 
PCFC threw the ball in an illegal throw in. Ball goes over to Phoenix. Six to two, Cody Granico. Shot wide to the left. Tell you what, Cody Granico may not be the biggest player out on the court, but he hustles more than anybody. Yes, he's a very quick player. Reads the game and oh, oh. And we're I talking about Granico. Missed the all of the pull. Stole the ball on a cross court pass. Very quick play. Got a shot off and hit the post. Thirty left to go. Six to two. Phoenix leads. Hard shot blocked by Wilson. That was Granigo with a hard shot. Ball hit the top. Gorlo sends it into Granico. Cody right in front of us. Boy, he is fast. Two minutes left to go in this one. Granico again dishes it off in front. Oh, and a, whip, a foul. That yeah, was not foul number eight, and no the penalty for four. <laughs> Alan Kropp hits the deck right in front. Another penalty, another shot coming up. On oh, foul number eight is now is in close to the half moon. Here we go. Crop. He was inside. There he nice. had a goal on a penalty kick. He was inside the circle that time. That's why that's a shot from there. Six to three. That coming at 145. Alan Crop. PCFC, and that's a penalty kick. Minute and 42 seconds to go. Been a very, very physical second half. Same as a soccer, you know, you start getting tired, you know, the brain doesn't operate really well and then you exactly. start putting in physical, you know, and uh, especially here in Butsak requires a big time training and look like the Brazas they know each other really well. Right, the best I mean, players best make mistakes players. when they're tired. Yes, yes. And it's not just in every sport, you know. Right, and exactly. And then it's a little bit more stuffing on the second half. A little more, more involvement from the referees. And then in the first half was more smoother. That goes out. Portland's been substituting a lot of players, but Cody Gornico has been in there for a long time. Goes out, goes out off of Kenny Schleyback. You know, one of the, yeah, one of the good things, you know, the referees, they, they, they don't have the usual whistle, they have the electronic whistle on the hand. It, it's really nice. <laughs> We're under a minute. 
50 seconds left to go. Playback, hard shot, blocked by Jared Wilson. Kenny shakes his head, he thought he had that. Forty seconds. Hard shot by Cody Granico went wide left. Boy, he's gotten off some hard shots here in the last two minutes. Granico goes around his man, gets a shot blocked. Giovanni Vasquez sends it in. Twenty-five seconds. First game ever in the American Futsal League. 19 seconds on the clock. Six to three, Phoenix leads. Looks like it's gonna be a road win for the visitor. Max Sound blocks the shot. And that goes out, throw in coming up for Phoenix. Back to the goalie. Cody Granico. Granico really is hoping. <laughs> on the attacking, on the defending, and the making the, making the, the plans. We have he's five got, seconds to go. He's got moxie, that's for sure. And there's the horn. That's the end. Our score here in the very first game ever in the American Futsal League. It is the Phoenix Brazos six. Final score tonight, Phoenix Brazos six. Portland City Futsal Club three, a win, four. Phoenix, the road win, they're now 1-0. PCFC, 0-1. Our player of the game, Joa Alvarez, number seven for, for um, Phoenix. We'll see if we can get him over and talk to him. I mean, Walter, you're gonna have to do the talking. Yeah, Goals here in the second half, those coming. Junior Ferreira for Phoenix. Cowboy Martin, Martins for Phoenix. Two goals in by PCFP, Gene Grails and Gabe Parrish. Then another goal by uh, Kalen Gonzalez. Another goal then by Mitch Garcia. Both of those for Phoenix that made it 6-2 in the last goal of the game. Then on that penalty kick by Alan Croft. That coming at 145. So 4-2 to two, the number, or 4-3 to three, the number of goals scored in the second half by Phoenix. They finished with six. PCFC with three. Six three again our final four. Uh, Joao Alvarez coming. I think Joao Alvarez coming over. He scored the first two goals of the game. One at 18-40 in the first half, one at 15 20. All right, thanks for joining us. Dwight Alvarez, you hear us okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, can, I, can you hear me? Yep, we okay. can hear you. Uh, first two goals of the game, you got them about, uh, oh, about, let's see, I'm looking back here, about three minutes apart three minutes. In, the first, in the first half there. Staked your club to a two to nothing lead. Uh, you almost had a couple of goals there. Yeah, the here's some of the posts, I hear some of the posts. If it was three times the post was a goal, I, I got a hat trick. <laughs> We were mentioning you, uh, you're from Brazil, right? Brazil, yes. You grew up in Brazil? But yeah, I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I grew up until my 16 years old, and I came to America. We thought we might have to talk to you in Portuguese. Walter here from, from, in, 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 from Peru. Fala português? Yeah, fala português, muito bem. Tudo bem, Walter? Tudo bem, tudo bem. Yeah, sim, parabéns, 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 por dizer, Walter. Ah, São Paulo, que cidade de São Paulo? Sou de Guarulhos, São Paulo. Guarulhos, São Paulo. Você é que é do aeroporto? É sim, é, perto do Porto, 15 minutos. Perto do Porto, que bom. Sim. E, João, tell us really quick, como você começou a jogar com o Tânia Brasil? Você sabe? Então, eu comecei quando minha mãe disse que eu era 1 ano, e eu vi uma bola e eu comecei a jogar, sem ninguém me dizendo o que fazer, como meu pai me disse. E, quando eu era 4 anos, minha mãe começou a jogar com o Tânia Brasil, e de lá, ele foi para o Tânia Brasil. E, de lá, ele foi para o Tânia Brasil. Yeah, you know, we, we do have a lot of, like, at home, 
Oh, yeah, you know, Falcão. Falcão, you know, and uh, Robinho. Robinho e Ronaldinho. E Ronaldinho. Todos eles jogaram futsal com a temporalidade, não é? They play futsal at an early age and they become a phenomenal player. Because, yes. We see futsal, we make a quick decision. Yes, of course. You, you, if you play futsal and you, if you can play good futsal, you play as well. In the new American Futsal League, there's two firsts. First goal ever in league play is yes. to you. And first win ever goes to Phoenix. That's a big win and on the road to start the season. Yeah, I'm so happy and I'm so proud by the our performance. And I'm happy to be the first one to score. And also it's my first time playing for Brazos and I'm very happy. Now this uh, this league allows 12 players a team. PCFC has 12 players and substituted very liberally. Yes. You guys got nine players. You were kind of at a, a disadvantage. Yes. And near the end of the game, it looked like maybe both teams were a little tired. Yeah, we were a little tired, but I want to thank my coach for, for giving us the performance, like for giving us fitness, uh, exercise and stuff for you, for you, can, for you can win for the win. All right, what, uh, what do you got? What do you see for the season? So the season is pretty good. I see a lot of... I say a lot of opportunities to make a uh, futsal great in America, and I make a, I want to make a futsal great in the U.S. too. And uh, and that's it. All right, Rod. Well, thanks again for joining yeah. us. First goal of the season first. ever for Phoenix Brothers. First, you're our MVP of the game. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Can I say something for my? Sure. sure. So uh, I want to thank the fans first for watching the game. I want to thank my family, with my OIPI, and I want to thank God too for putting me here today. And thanks so much for the interview. Thanks so, for joining muito us. Muito obrigado você. Muito obrigado. Thank Abração. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 His mother just helping, you know. There's a, a the, in Brazil, the first story is always a soccer ball, you know. Two, two things. Yep. I'm talking to Mohamed Alabas over here. Yeah. He's, he's asking me to be the official scorer. So. <laughs> he did a good job. He did a good, good. All right, we're going to bring over. We're going to bring over Kenny Playback for the uh, PCFC. We'll get the headset on him there, and we'll talk to him for a second. Kenny, thanks for joining us here. Uh, tough match here in that game. Two to nothing uh, at the end of the first half. Second half got a lot more physical than the first half. Four goals for Phoenix, three for you guys. Six to three, the final score. Uh, your thoughts on the game? Well, uh, it seems like uh, it came out a little squirrely in the first part. Uh, they capitalized a few quick goals, like you said. Uh, definitely in the second half, we did play a lot better, a lot, a lot stronger. We do have a new group of guys. It shows a little bit of the experience, but it's, it's getting there. I think by the next couple of games, we'll, we'll start to peak out a little more. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting process all, all along the line. So, What did you learn about your team here in the first game? Well, we haven't been really challenged to this particular physicality yet. We have played opponents around the area where we have been physical with, and we've had that kind of like football mentality where they just kind of jump into you. But uh, yeah, nothing is uh, kind of um, structured and a little bit more organized as these guys. These guys definitely have been more together in that and actually training the actual way how to play football. So. Yeah, we, we see in the Brussels team, you know, that they, they know each other and they were taking advantage of their language, so they were yeah, speaking they, more to these. They, they have definitely a have a good players. Players. They have great chemistry, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, I believe that the second half also was a little bit more physical because both, tired, both teams they were a little bit tired. And then the mentally part, and like you say, the team, it is a lot of new players. Yeah, it's, it's no but it kind of got them out of their funk, so to speak. Yeah. You know, like it really kind of got a fire under them to, to like do better, and that's that's where you start to see the flurry of, of things. Then they started getting a little. Um, the other team started to foul a little more, you know, yes. a little physical and yeah, a little yeah. aggressive and a little confrontational. And I mean, that's part of the game. But yeah, and we were able to capitalize on that. Was, you know, we we're trying to it's work on that. A lot of mental, a lot of mental in the part. You right. Know, and, yeah. Um, I'm sure you get it. We see you guys score quickly to score two goals and then yep. come back to, to three and uh, that, right. I'm sure that the next game is going to be improving. Yeah. You know, at the end of the game, mm -hmm. what I was watching out on the court, I was watching your players, I was watching players who were really 
fighting really wanted to win. I mean, everybody on the team wants to win, but I, I saw a lot of heart, and it was two players that I saw. Gabe Parrish was one of them, yeah. and the other was Cody Gronico. Yeah, both of them were trying extremely hard. Yeah, especially Cody Gronico, he was everywhere. <laughs> that guy had some speed. He was even mismatched with the marking too, wasn't he? <laughs> yes. Very quick player. Good. Uh, he's a quick player, definitely. And Gabe was really on fire there. Like, he's a really temperamental, kind of like, you know, calm guy, you know? But... You have three players on the team from Central Catholic, Reese Cole, Lucas Hale, and Gabe Parrish. And at the end of the game, I noticed they were all on the court at the same time. Yeah, it was good. It's a little high school reunion for them, right? Right. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming over and joining us, and good luck on the upcoming season. Let's see, it's going to be uh, six we, uh, games long. Uh, yeah, play. it's uh, three home games, three away. We've done the first home opener. Unlucky with the loss, and we come up with zero points. Our next game is in two weeks in L.A. against the South Bay Originals. Okay. Well, good luck on that, and uh, thanks for joining us, and good yeah. luck on the future. All right, Thank Kenny Slaybox from PCFC joining us. Are we, are we going to take a break before we start the exhibition? We're going to do that. Before we start the exhibition match, we're going to take a, a, a short break, and we'll be back. This has been a production of Oregon Sports Beat. I'm Dave Hall, along with Walter Arivalo. We'll wait and introduce all our crew when we get done with the uh, exhibition match coming right up. So thanks for joining us here in the inaugural match of the American Futsal League from the Oregon Premier Futsal Facility in, in Clackamas. Our final score here is Phoenix Brazos 6, PCFC 3. We'll be back after this. <laughs>